Let's talk about something else for you guys, which you're seeing more of, and I'll show you data on that. And again, you're the front line of managing this, and that's urinary calculi. So along with that, and this is more of an imaging talk than it is a calculi talk. Although you see a lot of patients with calculi, you know how to manage it. Where there's a lot of confusion out there now is with imaging. What kind of imaging are we supposed to give these patients? Everybody has radio radiation concerns and so on, so what are we supposed to be doing? So let's start with a question. 45-year-old female has passed four kidney stones in the past. She knows what they feel like. She's had two-day history of severe left-sided flank pain. No dysuria, hematuria, fevers, or chills. You think she has another stone. She's 45. You want to image the patient. What is your next step? Is it a pregnancy test? Don't image her. Give her a strainer in case she passes the stone on the way of the imaging. Give her a shot of antibiotics right away because the data shows that we're seeing more and more infected kidney stones. Or give her a bowel prep first so we can see the stone better on imaging. What would you do? All right. She has an insurance plan where she pays a lot out of pocket. And she's like, listen, I'll get an x-ray or any, whatever you think I need, but I don't like radiation and I only want to do it one time. What would you order for her? Would you get a CTEXU, a non-contrast CT scan they have in pelvis, an ultrasound, doesn't have radiation, MRI doesn't have radiation, or just a plain film next door? break there. We'll talk about that. All right. She gets a KUB. That's not the right answer, but she got one. The radiologist called and said, hey, I don't see a stone. So you tell her, you don't have a stone. Or you may have a stone, but we can't see it on this imaging, so now you need a CT scan. Or you may have a stone, but it's so small because we can't see it on KUB, go home and push fluids. So this is important because we're seeing an acute increase in patients that present with kidney stones. We see it in the ER, we see it in the primary care setting, we see it in our office. 